Gaming smartphones are all the rage right now, just like sexual harassment lawsuits and the general downfall of the UK economy. And Xiaomi backed company Blackshock is the latest manufacturer to launch an Android mobile aimed at twitchy thumbed game fans. Black Shark's new phone, imaginatively called the Black Shark, is surprisingly affordable despite its premium specs. At just 439 quid, it's a huge chunk of change cheaper than the Razer Phone 2, yet you still get plenty of grunt, a massive battery, a gorgeous display, and some excellent gaming features, including a custom-made joypad attachment. I've been testing out the Black Shark with a good bit of PUBG Mobile, what else, to see if it really is one of the best gaming smartphones right now in terms of performance, battery life, gaming features and everything else. And don't forget for more on the latest mobile gadgetry and everything else as well, to poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! So first up, while the Black Shark runs stock Android as standard, you do have the Shark Space interface as well, which is completely geared towards gaming. This can be activated at any point with a quick flick of this handy little switch over on the left hand side. Once this is activated, you'll notice that all incoming calls and also message notifications are basically blocked from view, so you won't be interrupted in the middle of your gaming session. And you can also quickly enter observer mode with a quick tap of this icon up here. That disables all call functionality and just keeps the mobile data feature enabled so your games that require a constant connection aren't interrupted. Now when you first start up Shark Space, you'll notice that you're in this kind of linear menu where you can flick through all your various games. It's not particularly attractive and it's a bit clunky though. I prefer tapping this little icon here and then you've got an overview of all of your games complete with icons right there on the one screen. Or if you prefer, you can also make it a list instead. And from here you can also deactivate any games that you're not particularly fond of or add in any that it might have missed off for whatever reason. If you really want to, you can even check out all of your game and stats to see exactly how much of your life you've wasted on the various titles. To launch a game, of course, all you've got to do is tap its icon. Pretty self-explanatory, really. Once you're actually inside of a game, the Black Shark cleverly allows you to pull up more game and features and tools simply by dragging your finger down that fingerprint sensor. As you can see, the menu that pops up isn't too intrusive, it just allows you access to quick toggles such as your Wi-Fi, the no in-call uh, disruption as well, so we can have no incoming calls during our game session. If you tap more, there's also a no notification toggle there as well. If you do uh, want to see your notifications, and uh, don't mind them popping up at the top of the screen, just give that a tap. Very good if you're expecting anything important, maybe from the boss. If you're noticing any issues with performance, which to be fair you shouldn't anytime soon thanks to the Snapdragon 845 packed in this thing, you can just tap max performance, that'll just prioritise the gaming session, and also you can free up some uh, memory with a quick tap of that icon there, as you can see there, just uh, gets to work and hopefully will give you a smoother experience. The no keypad option is also helpful. This basically just prevents you from, for instance, accidentally long pressing that fingerprint sensor and taking yourself out of the game. If that activated, as you can see, no problems there. Now, all of those features work at absolute charm. The notifications blocking all of that stuff never had a single problem. So it's definitely great if you want to get in the zone and get the most from your game. However, I haven't even touched on the best feature of the Black Shot gaming phone yet, and that is the bundle joypad. So first up, what you want to do is take this plastic shell, which you also get bundled in the Black Shark box, and just snap it around your Black Shark gaming phone like so, nice and quick and simple. With that in place, all you need to do is snap the joypad onto the Black Shark phone like so, and it's held neatly in place. There will be absolutely no slippage whatsoever. To actually take the joypad off again, you'll need to press in this little button here, and then just pull the phone out like so. Now the controller actually pairs to the Black Shark Game and Phone via Bluetooth, so you will of course need to pair them in the usual way in the Android settings. Inside of Shark Space, you can check out the controller status at any time by tapping this little icon here, and as you can see there, you can check out the battery level. You can also calibrate the controller if needed. The controls are pretty straightforward. You do of course have your thumbstick in order to guide your little fella or gal around on the screen, and you've got two trigger buttons as well, good for aiming and shooting. And playing the likes of PUBG Mobile is so much easier with this joypad. I didn't have to customise the controls, configure them in any way. It just worked as soon as I snapped it on and paired it up. Having a proper thumbstick to strafe about the place really, really does help. That tactile feedback makes such a difference compared with the basic touchscreen controls. And the fact that it's a combination of physical controls and the touchscreen means you can strafe about the place, move around no problem, and you've also got fast access to everything you need, such as your inventory. But of course, the biggest boon is having that actual physical trigger button for firing your weapon as well. Whenever suddenly somebody pops up unannounced, you can just immediately blast them in the face, no fumbling around for that on-screen shoot button. And the good news is that while the joypad does have its own battery supply because it's got that Bluetooth connection to the Black Shot gaming phone, I found that I managed to get a good few hours of use per charge, and it charges up via Type-C USB as well, same as the phone. 
As for the general performance, as you can imagine, no troubles whatsoever. Even demanding titles like PUBG Mobile played absolutely perfect, a gorgeous smooth frame rate, even on those top detail levels. Not too surprising given that Qualcomm's mighty Snapdragon 845 is unsurprisingly shoved in this handset just like pretty much every other gaming phone you'll get these days. And it's backed here by a mighty 8 gigs of RAM as well. You do actually get a choice of 6 or 8 gigs when you pick up your handset. This is the slightly more expensive £479 version which comes with 8 gigs. And even then it's still a clear £300 cheaper than the Razer Phone 2 which packs basically the same specs. So here you can see a bit of PUBG Mobile action on that HDR level details with auto graphics adjustment deactivated. And as you can see, absolutely perfect frame rate throughout and no problem with responsiveness or connectivity or anything else either. The Black Shark chassis has a cross-shaped antenna housed in the back of it and basically it seems to work absolutely perfectly. I've had no problems at all with connectivity at any point. One concern with gaming smartphones is that they might get a little bit toasty during intensive use but again the Black Shark gaming phone absolutely perfect in that regard. It's got a liquid cooling system built into it and even after about an hour or two of non-stop pudgy mobile it gets a little bit warm but certainly nowhere near palm searing. So again, another big thumbs up. And as for battery life, I got almost exactly six hours of full on PUBG use from this thing before it finally died from a full charge. Now that's a full extra hour compared with the Razer Phone 2, which managed just five hours under the same conditions. So even if you're a bit of an addict, you'll have no problem getting your game on for a large chunk of your work and day. Great news if you like to hide in the cubicle and just basically blast away on Fortnite or whatever. So that in a nutshell is what I think of the game and prowess of the Black Shark smartphone. Definitely for 439 quid, incredible grunt and some great gaming features on this thing as well. What do you think? Do you think it's the best gaming phone right now? Definitely let us know in the comments down below. It was great to hear your thoughts. And for my in-depth review of the Black Shark phone as well, covering the camera tech and everything else that I haven't covered in this video, then stay tuned. That'll be going up on Rukumbu imminently. And don't forget for more on the latest and greatest tech, mobile or otherwise, to poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers everyone. Love you.